What's up, coaches? I want to show you our 50-day challenge that we gave about 25 of our players that we see throughout the course of this fall before the season starts. And I'm going to share with you this document if you watch it on YouTube, and I'm going to go over it uh, as you're probably listening on the podcast forum, the audio area. And in fact, I'll send you this Excel doc so you could literally take and use the same thing. It's a shout out to Coach Riley in Fowler, Michigan. They do a 100-day offseason challenge or club, whatever they call it, with his basketball program. And as players go through, there's some goals that they would try to you know, reach by the end of these hundred days. And there would be, you know, t-shirts or prizes or whatever for anybody that was able to finish some of these challenges. I've set up the same thing and I get to see these players on a weekly basis leading up to basketball season. And I'm more than happy to share with you this document that I've given to all of our players this fall and this, these specific groups that we, we work with. And it's been something that the next week they come back and you come back you get a Kramer basketball sticker, you get a Kramer basketball wristband. But if you complete the challenge by the end of these 50 days or this club, you know, you reach one of the goals inside this, this shot and ball handling club by the end of the 50 days, they're going to get a t-shirt. They don't know this yet, uh, but they're, but they're going to. So it's a finishing or finishing. It could be finishing, but it's shooting. And that counts with finishing and then it's ball handling. So we're going quantity of shots, and we're going amount of time spent handling the basketball. With the groups that I gave this challenge to specifically, um, I didn't get super detailed with the types of shots, and I didn't get super detailed with uh, the ball handling workouts, but I, I, well, I take that back. I got very detailed with ball handling workouts. I, we go through different workouts that they can do handling the ball in person, and then I send them usually every week, one ball handling workout that they can do that would take 10 to 15 minutes. So we're pretty detailed with the ball handling. With the shooting, and where some of our younger players are at, hey, if they're shooting layups, they're getting shots up, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. If they're trying some of the techniques that we touch on in our workouts, I'm very happy with that. And for our older, more advanced players, I'm saying, hey, for this uh, challenge, we're just counting quantity of shots, but I encourage you to not just shoot for takes, but count makes. So I, I, but I gave them that kind of option. So we broke down, if you took 50 shots a day for 50 days, that would be 2,500 shots. If you took hundred shots a day for 50 days, 5,000 shots, 200 shots a day, 50 days, 10,000 shots. Okay. So as we worked on this program, uh, it was really important for me to remind our players that, Hey, if you miss a day, if you get sick, if you hurt your ankle, this challenge isn't over. This is about where are we getting at the end of these 50 days more so than 50 days straight. Of course, that'd be awesome if you did 50 days straight, but that's not the, the full kind of goal of, of this drill. It's just over 50 days, where are we getting? We also broke this down from a time standpoint on handling the basketball. Five minutes a day for 50 days is four hours and 10 minutes or 250 minutes total spent handling the ball. 10 minutes a day, 50 days, eight hours and 20 minutes or 500 minutes. If you spent 20 minutes a day handling the basketball for 50 days, that'd be 16 hours, 40 minutes, 1000 minutes you've spent handling the ball. If you're doing that, um, yeah, you're going to improve like leaps and bounds handling the ball. A crazy amount if you spent that much time handling the ball over the course of 50 days. And I just put some workout tips at the bottom of this handout. So be intense. Make sure we're going, you know, working after we work on some stance or some fundamentals, get going to game speed. The planning aspect, I understand if uh, if our players are working out on their own, they need to know what they're working on going into the workout, not just showing up at the gym or the driveway and thinking they're going to accomplish something, have a plan going in. And then we talk about the consistency factor because, you know, you can't wait until the last week and complete this challenge, right? Too much time will have elapsed. You're not going to be able to, you know, reach some of the goals that we have. And so we've tiered that out. Goal one is 200 shots a day for 50 days. Goal two, 100 shots a day for, for 50 days. Goal three is averaging 50 shots a day for 50 days. And we kind of go through this um, same thing as I mentioned before, handling the ball. And then I simply gave them a shooting log and a ball handling log that's 
print it out, right? And I'm showing it to you here on an Excel document, but it simply has the date and next to it, you would write in each box, how many shots you took. You add it up at the end of September, the remaining days in October, which would lead us to October 24th would be our last day. We would total those up and you'd write down the total amount of shots that you've taken for those 50 days. And then ball handling is the same thing, except we're writing in the minutes instead of, you know, the amount of dribbles or, or something like that. And players will add those up throughout the course of these 50 days. They'll hand that sheet in. And if they've completed any of the one, two, three goals for shooting or one of the one, two, three goals for ball handling, they're going to get a prize. They're going to get a reward. And then I have one special reward for the player that did the most. Right. Um, and it's, it's, it's just kind of something a little bit sillier, actually, for the player that gets it all the way up top. But that's how we've done the 50 day challenge. We've given this to 25 players. Uh, I think we'll have between five and 10 by the end of these 50 days that will have come in with their sheets and have knocked out some level of these goals as far as shooting and ball handling. So we're giving them the option. We're not making them do it. You know, they've signed up for this fall training program with me. So I see them once a week, but it's my job as a basketball coach to give them, to put them in a position to succeed. And this is one of the ways that I can do that by sending them videos, sending them workouts and being able to show them something that they can, you know, log for, for themselves is, is something effective. And we've enjoyed doing that with, with our players. Um, the small reward has been something that's gone a long way. If you're trying to think about this with even your youth players of simply bringing their sheet back every week, I give them some, it's a wristband. It's a sticker. I mean, if you're watching on video, like these are wristbands. If you buy them by like a bulk 300, they come out to like less than a quarter per wristband. Right. So the kids love wearing wristbands. I shoot. I like wearing wristbands. They have low motivational message on them. And just by teaching the kids some responsibility of bringing the sheet back. And so literally if any kid, whether they haven't even done anything for seven days, but if they bring that sheet back, we would give them a sticker and wristband just because that's another thing that we want to teach our kids is just the responsibility of, Hey, like when your teacher gives an assignment, you got to bring that assignment back the next day. It's not enough for you to go home and do the assignment and you leave it at home. You got to bring that in and hand it back in so your teacher can look at it. It's the same type of thing that we're, we're talking about. So that type of importance with, with our young players. So this is something that I'll do another episode and talk about how it's going, but this is more of, if you're interested in this little document, I'm more than happy to share it with you, but it's, I mean, it's so simple. You can make it in a couple minutes on, on your computer, but it's really gone a long way. My daughter is in third grade and she's on pace to be, you know, between five and 10 minutes handling the basketball. If she wants to accomplish the, the shooting at any, even the bottom, the third goal, she's going to have to pick up the pace as far as some of the shooting. Um, again, she doesn't love basketball. She kind of likes it as more of a social thing, but um, she does like dribbling at this age. And so we've done some unique and creative ways to handle the ball at home to keep her engaged dribbling and doing math problems, uh, dribbling, uh, around cones. And I like, if you're going to play play, but I, I'm saying there's, instead of just sitting there and just dribbling, 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 and trying to like five minutes will take a while to pass. But if I put some cones out and I give her, um, it's like an obstacle course, almost dribbling the ball around her coordination is going to get better. Her footwork is going to get better. Uh, her speed's going to get better, her hand-eye coordination, uh, and she's going to have more fun, right? Just just trying to move and, and trying to, you know, making mistakes and stepping on a cone and, and different things like that. And so there, there's definitely a place that I've found as far as engagement of being able to um, communicate to my daughter while she's dribbling, like right, right, or left, or crossover, or between the legs, and then having her try to do it so she's not deciding when to do it. I'm calling when to do it. That's a little bit more fun going through, you know, figure eight type 
cones and weaving with with the dribble i think has been great for her fantastic for her coordination um she's already got a great base as far as her stance um she's improved with her ball handling skills since we started this challenge and so that's been cool to have some actual proof in my own home uh, as far as seeing somebody go through and as i'm recording this i think we're in the low 30s as far as how many days we've been through so that's been uh pretty cool to see and you know we'll even do like some tests so we'll be like hey um right now for 30 seconds you're going to pound pound cross every crossover is a point and we'll see what she gets and then we'll do some different dribbling drills i right? will do a bunch of stuff and then after we finish the workout hey let's do that drill again pound pound cross and she usually will get a higher score right she's she's been handling the ball more it makes sense you practice and, and you get better and so i've just been really happy with how this ha has worked out and talking to a, a friend of mine who's a youth coach, and he's going to do that with his players in season because they only practice once or twice a week during their youth basketball season. So he's going to use this uh, platform, this not platform, but this Excel doc as well. So if you're interested, hit me up, let me know. I'm more than happy to share this with you and, you know, give you any tips or, or thoughts on what this might look like. Again, the little prizes go a long way, little motivation to, to, have those kids bring it back each week, but doing different shooting clubs, ball handling clubs, challenges are just excellent ways. I think to keep the kids engaged, especially in your my in my shoes. Some of these kids I only see once a week, and so to be able to communicate to them essentially through that piece of paper, hey, let them know I'm thinking about you and I want you to be better when you come back the next week, is uh, been something that's been pretty pretty rewarding and. It's a small sample size, but it looks like we found some some success and we're very close to finishing this 50 days, but I'll let you know how it goes once we wrap it all up. Thank you for listening to the Coach's Edge podcast. I hope you found this interesting. If you did, share. Uh, positive rating review is huge. I mean, that's how we we keep this thing up. And uh, if you're interested in coachesedge.coach, you know, like this Excel doc is nothing compared to some of the stuff that we have inside Coach's Edge as far as like Excel workouts and very specific of the drills and the the amount of shots to make and different workouts from a Monday to a Tuesday to a Wednesday and progressing through over the course of, you know, not just workouts, but like a true program. And you know, we have all those things inside Coach's Edge Coach. So if you're looking for ways to develop your players, highly recommend checking that out in season and uh thanks for listening get after today